My top favorite things to hit up in Lucadia actually encompass an incredible day for my family and I. We start out on a street called Neptune, which runs parallel to the 101. And on Neptune, you'll find families jogging, running their dogs, and also beach access points in Lucadia. You'll hit stone steps, beacons, and grand view. After we work up our sweat, we'll head down to Panikin. It is located in a historic building. Uh, it used to be the Santa Fe Railroad Station back in the late 1800s, and now Panikin roasts their own coffee beans and import incredible teas from all around the world. So we'll grab a fresh baked good, grab our cup of coffee, and sit outside on the 101, talk to friends, neighbors, meet some new people. One of the most unique shops, iconic places, is Lou's Records. It's been around for decades selling rare collectible vinyls. Lou's Records has survived the digital age. They have an incredible community around them rallying to keep Lou's open. Next, it's lunchtime, so we'll go to Mosey's Cafe. It's Caribbean cuisine. Uh, my favorite is the Caribbean plate. It's got grilled plantains, and after you eat it, you'll start craving it throughout the week. You can take it to go, head down to the beach, jump in the water, or sit on the patio and feel the true Keep Lucadia funky vibe. To end out the day, hopefully my family can grab a babysitter and we'll go to see some live music at La Papagayo restaurant. Order the house-made sangria, or my personal fave is the basil blueberry margarita, some grilled artichokes with homemade dipping sauces, and the Oaxaca steak tacos. So now those are my top five favorite things to do in Lucadia. I hope you guys get to come explore Lucadia and fall in love with this beautiful town.